Hi guys. Um, I'm a little calmed down, but it's still pretty shaken when you're dealing with that kind of violence. And I, I want to, uh, I made a couple of mistakes in that other video. Um, number one, um, about defending myself. Uh, you know, I have, um, involvement with these cops and that's why too, when things escalate, I walk away. And I did that when I was a kid too, uh, with my mother. I, I'm not a violent person. I don't believe in violence. Um, but if you so much as touch somebody, you know, especially in my situation, because they're always blaming me, you're going to be the one in trouble. Not that I would, but, you know, in that kind of situation, it can escalate very quickly. And, a lot of, you know, sometimes self-defense doesn't appear to, to be that way. So you have to be very careful. That's number one. Um, number two, um, oh, I apologize. Um, it was, uh, her name is... Um, Sandra Bland, not Linda. I always call her Linda Bland. You know, I was very moved by her story, especially because I don't know if it shows it very often, but she was very cognizant of the power very quickly with the iPhone and recording um, abuse. With her situation, it was, of course, her perspective more with racism than, um, well, which intersects. So I don't want to go too far into that area because I don't want to specifically talk about racism, but. Um, it intersects, which is why I'm, I'm starting to learn about intersexual uh, feminism or intersectional, yes. Um, so uh, with, with recording the violence or, or the abuse, you know, I mean, I, I was the same way. I mean, right away it hit me that I could, I could finally show some of this stuff because so often what happens is you're the one that's blamed, especially when you're dealing, now they, uh, I'm learning about Darvo, um, you're dealing with these cluster B personalities, you have um, this constant reframing the victim as the perpetrator, and this goes on a lot, and I've seen it with myself repeatedly, um, where someone is doing violence towards you, but you're repeatedly blamed, and right now it's this officer up there that has started trouble after sexually assaulting me. It's my mother, it's a group of my ex-husband and his friends, the, this group with my friend. So there's these clusters of people that keep getting away with this and 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 this is not the first place this has went on this is this goes this has gone on repeatedly wherever I've gone um, people say well if he shows up he doesn't have to he, he's in some sort of gang he has some sort of affiliations with the mob or what, what, whatever cult they're in now they're in this QAnon thing um, and you know there, I have so much evidence I mean if you go through my videos this is just after trying to leave a domestic violent situation. This is after you leave. Um, I was thrown out of my home in 2016. My videos, all these videos right now are from trying to survive after you report. Um, and this is what you face. So even with a camera and you can say, look, this is what's happening to me. And you go to the police. Th this is what they do to you. So even with the evidence, and I've had numerous lawyers, these public defenders that do absolutely nothing, and we have to get into that. Um, but I wanted to make sure I corrected her name and there's a couple of things, and I'm still pretty shaken, so there's a th couple of things we still need to talk about. Um, oh, I, I wanted to ask you, if anyone knows how to quickly remove those room numbers, um, because right now I just, I don't know how to quickly do it. I, I, I haven't been editing my, my footage. It's been raw. Be safe, guys.